What's up everyone? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today we are going to be talking about should you summon for LF Future Gohan or not? So honestly, after everyone getting shafted during the Gogeta Blue and you know the Brawly banner, I'm not saying everyone, but majority of the people, I'd say Maybe to skip this, but I mean, look, if you're a fan of Gohan, and you're trying to get every LF unit as possible, then I say go for it. My only thing, though, is this, is that say you're low on Chrono Crystals, for me, I'm free to play, so I try to summon on certain banners that I think that will benefit me. So if you're very low on crystals, and you're just waiting, and waiting, and waiting for a really cool unit to drop, then I suggest you save as many Chrono Crystals as possible, and, you know, the limit of summons you should probably do on this banner, I'd say maybe two or three the most, and after that, just no more summons. For me, I literally grinded everything, I grinded story, I grinded the events, and as you can see, I don't have that much crystals, I only have enough to maybe do one summon and that's it. But um, yeah. I feel like this is another bait banner, but you know, he looks pretty hyped to me, and I mean, just, just look at this, look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't look pretty darn cool. That looks pretty darn cool with the one arm and everything. But, um, yeah. You guys decide on what you want to do. But for me, I'm probably gonna summon on it because I do need some LF. Peace out, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. But, uh, hold on. One more thing before I go. If you're pay to play, I wouldn't suggest going ham on this banner. Because you might, you know, deal the same fate as you did on the Brawly or Gogeta Blue banner. I'd say do the same thing as free to play players. Just do two, three summons and then that's it. Peace out.